Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears. Last time we found out some very interesting information about Rico and he kind of got himself uh, arrested there, which probably wasn't all that bright. Now, this time we're going to explore D Block, where uh, we met up with, or not D Block, A Block, the civilian block, where um, we met up with Hammer last time and found out where our gear is but not, and kind of how to get in, just not when we can get in. This time, if you pop up here, eventually, after a long period of time, this is the area where we jumped into that uh, bathroom stall last time. So, fast forward through that. Don't need to do that anymore. Now, here we have Big Joe. Now, basically, you talk to him and he'll want to borrow... Uh, or, well, you'll want to see something in behind him, and he'll want 5,000 G in order to do that. All you get is an M disk. Now, this M disk, what this does, speaking of uh, buildings that we need to explore, all this one does is go and fix this jukebox. It has one disk in it, which is broken and doesn't work. So, basically, it's a sound test for 5000G. The, I think later on in the game, you get 5000G back from him. But by the time you get it back, 5000G is meaningless. And, well, not meaningless, because we always need more money. But it doesn't matter nearly as much as it uh, does right now, so I'm not gonna give him the money. It doesn't serve any real purpose. It's just like uh, the uh, kids, you know, if you give them a thousand G in Ave, uh, they'll open up a shop later, which I won't use, so since I'm not gonna use this, and since we're gonna hear all the music in this game anyway, I don't see any purpose. Uh, later on in the game, you can actually dig up this jukebox uh, by giving somebody gold nuggets and gold bouillon but I don't think that works if you don't fix it and either way I don't care because it's a sound test and we hear all the music anyway not to mention we have YouTube now if we need to hear the whole soundtrack anyway tournament was already over and the champ had already been taken down by me huh Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. You talk to her, she gets mad at you because you're in the way. It doesn't matter where you are, and she'll just keep pestering you. So anyway, let's talk to these people real quick, and I think that's pretty much all the people in this uh, area that I really need to talk to. Anyway. Hmm? Now, if you kind of get a different angle here. Um... Okay. Okay. From the Mole Tribe, and I've fallen in love with that Dragon Tribe beauty, which is the one over on the right-hand screen there. Okay. I don't think I could. Long, slow, and imminently. Which is right away, right? Or importantly. Either way, that just sounds off, and I don't care. <laughs> Become something incredible. Probably a dragon. Go figure. Uh, that's pretty much all we can do there. No one really interesting to talk to. Most of the buildings in this area are just kind of pointless. Uh, over here, I think this is... Yeah, there's nobody interesting to talk to in there. This this entire town, we've already got the idea of what was going on in the city from D-Block. Uh, these are two shops here. In here, is this the one I want to go to? No, this is not. Uh, yeah, they don't have anything useful to talk about. They just have the same stuff that uh, Hammer had earlier, so again, no point. We already have all the stuff we need here. Don't need any of those. Uh, the other one I do want to buy some stuff from. It's just an item shop. I'm just going to get a few more Omega Salts since uh, I have plenty of money at this point. Though that won't last long. It never does. We'll gain some more money and then we'll spend a whole bunch of money. We're the tool shop. Run by Tim the Tool Man Taylor. 
All right, let's just grab 10 more of those because they're cheap as hell anyway. Uh, I like having even numbers of things, but I don't need any of those. There we go. I think you can climb that ladder and dick around up there, but there's no treasure, so I'm not gonna worry about it. When the cat walks there. Okay, so with that being said, there's the, uh, the southern gate there, which we don't need to go through. And so let's see here. There's another gate over there that we can exit out of. And we've seen pretty much everything else. So let's just leave. There's nothing else we can really do here. So, And once we do, we can go back over to D block and we will have some more stuff to do here. We don't have a whole lot of options here. We instantly hit a scene as soon as we get that far with these three who I guess were the ones that have always been in that, uh, that mess hall area uh, above the doctor's place. But uh, yeah, waiting for us. Last time there were people waiting for us, they tried to fight me. That sounds like a really bad idea to do to the champion, especially considering they're all battlers too. This is true. I assume you're not hostile. It's a strange assumption to make. We have no choice, even though we have a choice. Okay, sure, why not? Let's follow them. And we're going to follow them to the champ's room, which, of course, now is Faze. Oh, yeah, he's not really the champ anymore. What, what kind of a line is this? The champ, no Rico, and now we say help the champion again. Satan, please, consistency. <laughs> What do we need to help him with? Okay. Something like this. Former champion was found guilty of it, attempting to assassinate the Kaiser, as well as breaking Imperial Code Section B. Thus, a public execution will be held at the arena. Balls. Yeah, that wasn't really why he was there, because he had more than enough opportunity to take him down, especially with Fey and uh, Satan standing at his side. But that didn't really happen. Oh. So the Ethos have their hands in here. Some people seem to not like them, but they definitely have their hands in both Kislev and Ave. And they have a, seem to have a lot of pull in either the government, in Kislev, or in, you know, the military, considering they work on all the gears in Ave. Okay. And what was he trying to accomplish by this? Why would they use Rico? Oh, well, I guess that kind of makes sense based on what we know about him. So we've heard, and this a lot of this is speculation at this point because you can only kind of interpret certain things and guess because they don't outright say anything. Uh, at least not at this point. I think I know they say a little more later, but I don't know if they say enough. Uh, but the idea here is the Sigmund had these anti-demi-human ideas and Rico and his mother, which is, you know, the Kaiser's wife, were chased out or she left in order to protect him, knowing that he would be a demi-human somehow. Um, maybe she saw something that uh, the Kaiser didn't see. And or maybe he whipped up the anti-demon human laws just based on the fact that he saw how 
close his son was to them and didn't want to admit it or whatever happened. But yeah, that, that's the idea here. That's why they were kind of on their own growing up in the slums. Which makes sense. The earlier crash into the box seat was disguised in an accident. Yeah, so they, this is what I was going to mention before, but uh, didn't really need to. They talk about it enough. Apparently. So we need to help the champ, who is no longer the champ. No problem. Oh... Why not? They're all scantily clad. I was trying to get them into my bed. In my house already, might as well do that. Might as well attempt, anyway. Of course, no. Faye's far too boring for that. Not the only one, either. Yeah, they're kind of friends now, kind of by proxy, because they want something from us and we don't mind helping, I guess. Oh, well, that's fortuitous. Next one is... Yeah, no, let's just do that one. Remember just a few moments ago when we met up with uh, Hammer, you know, before, obviously it's in the last episode, but in the continuity of the game, it's a few minutes ago, and they were saying that, you know, all of this was going to, uh, you know, work out, and we're going to take our time, and we're going to get it all done right, and yeah, now we're just going to go straight to her. Situation changed, we're going to go as soon as possible. No plan. Bust in, guns blazing. <laughs> yep. Apparently he didn't know. Okay. possible to get out through the battling arena, but we still have to get in. So the idea here is we're going to get in via the train, get out via the battling arena, and since that's where the execution is, rescue uh, Rico on the way. That's the plan, though they kind of work around it and they're kind of confusing about how they talk about it. Of course! What else? Makes sense. One more thing to do on the way to getting my gear back. Of course, now it's his gear, and he's kind of accepted the fact that he's going to be in it, you know, for the foreseeable future. He doesn't want to leave it in anyone else's hands. Considering he was the super pacifist before that never wanted to be in his gear, you can see his characters growing and changing over time, which is a good thing. Characters that grow are good. Characters that do not grow, not often as good. You can have an interesting flat character too, though, especially if it's based off of something that you already like. You know, a lot of the time you have characters that are basically the archetype, like uh, a samurai character or a badass character that doesn't have a whole lot of you know, character changing to him. And we get some money. That's nice. But uh, at the same time, you know, you're not... Even though they don't grow, there's still some of some interest because that archetype of character is interesting, at least to the individual person. Though they're usually not as interesting as growing characters that actually change and evolve and follow, you know, character uh, arcs. Speaking of character arcs, um, I was mentioning before when we were doing the Ave section how this game kind of works in arcs. 
and you know the first arc is kind of the the phase arc you know as up to uh dazzle and then we get bart's arc this is kind of rico's arc who knows what's gonna happen beyond this right i kind of like that strategy uh as it applies, and I've kind of skipped over all the dialogue. All I know is, in order to progress with the plot, once you're ready, uh, you just need to head in here and take a nap, so I'm gonna save, and I will do that. Okay. Let's rest up here and be done with it there. Are you prepared? There will be no turning back at this point, so basically, as soon as you're ready, as soon as you've, you know, made yourself a save file, I would head through here. Anyway. Let's try and get ourselves in here. I think we get like a full rest out of this, even though obviously I think we're resting during the day and uh, then getting up at night. And that organ music really does not belong in this room. I don't know why they always play it here. This is a little more accurate for the situation. There we go. There's the tower we want over there. So let's head over there. There we go. So we just loop around here and up the uh, stairs over here. Now, you can redo this segment as many times as you need in order to get it. Uh, I'm not great at it just because of weird camera angles, but she can't go into the arena. So it's time. Tonight's train will be coming through here if you wish you success. Maybe we can meet again. Now, basically, all you're doing here is just jumping on the train, but it uh, it doesn't always work very well. So we want to jump. There we go. I got lucky on that one. Sometimes you can jump and it looks like you're going to make it, and then you end up kind of on the side of the cart, and then you fall off, and then you'll get a chance to redo it. Now, even though we landed on the second cart, the middle one there, we get forced onto the back cart for this sequence because that's how the sequence plays out. Anyway, that was a close one. Almost got thrown off. All because... What mischievous punks. I have no idea who he's talking about here. I'm... Did somebody throw something at the train? I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> we should be alright if we take it this way. So far, so good. Except for the fact that the uh, train's about to uh, decouple. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump over here. Now, depending on uh, your camera angle, this can uh, be more or less difficult. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. There we go. Now we're on the front of the car there. Pretty unreliable train. Yeah, pretty much so. Anyway, the entrance to the ventilation shaft that leads to the gear dock should be coming up soon. Here we go. And with that, how did we survive that? Anyway, we arrive at the uh, next area here, which I do have a map for, thank god. This area is kind of irritating to navigate. Um, there's a lot of places we can jump up here and go into some of these air ducts. There's doors, there are locked doors, and all, of course unlocked doors. There's also plenty of treasure to grab here. But that's pretty much all the time I have for this episode, so yeah. That's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.